Howdy everyone and welcome back. Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2, the upcoming third person shooter from Saber Interactive and Focus Entertainment is just around the corner and we have learned some more details on the game. Today we will not only go over the campaign and operations mode, which is focused on co-op PvE, but also the multiplayer PvP and anything new we have learned so far. Some of this stuff we already know, like Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 taking place over 100 years after the events of the original game, with the main conflict this time being the Tyranids. Marine Titus is back with the Ultramarines after having served for a time with the Death Watch, alongside two other squad mates. The campaign can be played in three player co op with crossplay across consoles and PC. And speaking of the campaign, I can't see it being that long, which is completely fine with me. A game coming with a co op PvE operations and a PvP mode, Eternal War. I'm completely fine with a six to eight hour campaign. Now, this is only a guess. I don't actually know how long the campaign will be. What I do know is that the original Space Marine game was about seven and a half to nine and a half hours. And if Space Marine 2 had a longer campaign than the original, then I would imagine Saber Interactive would have said something by now. This doesn't bother me at all that much though, as shorter games are just easier for me to digest these days anyways. This would maybe bother me more if there wasn't going to be a co-op PVE mode and PVP mode. So. Expect about eight hours, maybe more. We'll just have to wait and see really. Nonetheless, I think it will not only be a great story for current Warhammer 40K fans, but also a good entry point for people who aren't too familiar with the Warhammer 40K lore. I think you can definitely jump into this game blind and have a good time. The game does have a $60 price tag, so a shorter campaign might disappoint some of you, but I think there's enough content here in the other modes to warrant it. I think I will definitely get my money's worth from this game. One feature I am very much looking forward to is Saber's Swarm Engine. This Swarm technology should certainly add to the immersion when fighting literally hundreds of Tyranids. We still have yet to see firsthand on how this Swarm tech will affect the game's performance, but from everything I've seen online, it appears to run pretty well. All in all, it is definitely impressive to see the gargantuan amount of hordes on the screen at once. Super stoked to see this in action. Another thing I very much enjoy in games like this is the melee combat. I just played the Mecha Break Beta, a 6v6 multiplayer mech game that has incredible melee combat. Check out my video on Mecha Break if it piques your interest at all. Space Marine 2 seems to emphasize melee combat by sort of forcing you to engage in that mechanic, whether that be through running out of resources like ammo or needing to replenish your shields as melee combat reinforces your armor. I mean, the chainsword looks great and as long as it feels great, then the melee combat will be an awesome time. Another aspect of the melee combat I've not really touched on is the parry system. When successfully parrying an enemy, you'll be able to deliver critical hits. Apparently, parrying seems to be pretty important in Space Marine 2, and as long as it's not too clunky and it feels good to use, then it should be another key feature that adds to the melee experience overall. Also, when you take damage, you will see this white bar within your health pool. And this means if you run in and perform a finisher on an enemy, you will then refill a bit of your HP and replenish a shield gauge. So again, they are really emphasizing aggression and melee combat, which is right up my alley. Co-op operations consist of taking on dangerous missions with our very own Space Marine. These are three player co-op operations in which each team member will select one of the six classes. You can't play the same class of another party member, so keep that in mind. One of the missions, for example, consists of obliterating a nearby Tyranid Swarm. There are difficulty tiers to these missions, so it's probably worth analyzing your mission and selecting the best team composition to carry out that task, especially when you get to the more difficult missions. Or just play what you like, it's no big deal. I just want to play as a bulwark all day, every day, so hopefully that's okay. Hopefully the bulwark is busted and pretty OP. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. There appears to be optional encounters within these missions as well. There's even some special enemies that you can run into during these missions. One of these special enemies having the ability to call in reinforcements. Through completing these operations, you receive data that can be used to unlock better weapons or customize your Space Marine. They dropped another trailer about the tactical and sniper classes. The tactical class excels with ranged weapons and can reveal enemies using the Auspex scan. Revealed enemies also take increased damage. The sniper class can fade in the shadows after scoring a kill using the camo cloak ability and sneak up on targets or quietly revive a downed teammate. Not sure how useful this sniper class will be other than remaining cloaked to help get your teammates back up. When there are hundreds of Tyranids coming your direction, I can't see the sniper being my go-to weapon. But who knows, maybe they will have some nutty perks that will make them pretty useful. A week later, they showed off the Assault and Vanguard class. These dudes thrive in close quarters combat. 
the Vanguard Warrior employs his grapple launcher to swiftly close in on enemies. Meanwhile, the Assault Fighter uses his jump pack to rain destruction from above before plunging into the heart of battle with either his hammer or fist. They seem to be releasing these class overview trailers on a weekly cadence, so we could probably expect to see more on the Heavy and Bulwark class on Friday, August 23rd. All in all, you got your ranged DPS being tactical and sniper class, your melee DPS being the assault and vanguard class, and you could probably expect Bulwark and Heavy to be your tanky support classes. There appears to be nine core perks, three team perks, nine gear perks, and three signature perks. A lot of perks, I know. The signature perks, again, being like your ultimate abilities. So it is actually probably worth picking and sticking to one class early on to unlock all the perks and progress your character and make them much more powerful so that you can do the higher difficulty content earlier on. Hopefully maxing out a character isn't too demanding on your time so we don't ever feel like we're stuck to one class. I guess we'll just have to wait and see about that. All in all, there appears to be plenty of classes and ability diversity to keep the game feeling fresh. We got to see more of the Battle Barge, which again is the command center and where we return after each mission. The big thing we saw from this Battle Barge trailer is the Trials. and the Armoring Hall, each class has their very own unique training Hypnomat. You'll be asked to perform a tactical objective in which you'll receive a grade from A to C after completing this objective. This will be a great way to try out and learn each class and what makes them different from one another. My guess originally was that the trials were going to be something training related, and it's nice to see that they are indeed a place to hone your skills of a class and definitely a good addition to the game. I know we touched on the Eternal War game modes in our previous videos, but to reiterate, for anyone who doesn't know or hasn't seen my previous videos on Space Marine 2, Eternal War is the 6v6 PvP Battlegrounds mode. There will be three modes at launch, two of which were in the previous Space Marine game, Annihilation, their Team Deathmatch, and Seize Ground, their Domination mode. A new game mode to Space Marine 2 is Capture and Control, this being their take on King of the Hill. All of these modes sound pretty fun to me, and it should be a great time overall. Saber Interactive will be adding new weapons, operations, PvP maps, and enemies throughout the lifespan of this game, which is also great to hear. Overall, after everything I've seen, I'm extremely excited. And from what I'm hearing, as far as the performance of the game, it seems to be pretty smooth, which was a worry of mine. With how awesome the swarm technology seems, I was a bit skeptical on how it would impact the performance, but everyone who has got their hands on the game early have said good things. Speaking of the enemies a bit more though, one big worry I do have is enemy variety. This could be an issue if we were just fighting Tyranids and the forces of chaos over and over and over again. Now maybe the core gameplay loop is compelling enough to where the enemies never become too mundane and boring. We will just have to wait and see, but maybe I'm just coping. I just want to, I just want orcs back. I know they're in the first game, but I, I just want to kill some more orcs. Regardless though, enemy variety is probably more of a nitpick than an actual issue. Like I said earlier, I do believe I will get my money's worth out of this game. I've already gone on and on about how beautiful this game looks and how fun the gameplay appears to be. It's not often a game like this comes out with not only a feature complete campaign and co-op operations, but also a PvP multiplayer playlist that looks badass. I get major Gears of War and 360 era vibes with this game. The blood, gore, special effects, and atmosphere just look incredible. So far, it looks to be a very, very, very good and polished game, and one I certainly cannot wait to get my hands on. It seems the devs have really poured their souls into this game, and I think it will be a banger because of it. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what class you are most excited to play and what mode you are most looking forward to jumping into. For me, a little bulwark PvP action sounds incredible. Remember to take excellent care of yourselves, and goodbye!